Ever wondered about the most common sexual dysfunctions in men? Lack of interest, premature ejaculation, and erectile dysfunction top the list. Interestingly, erectile dysfunction or ED, as it's commonly known, affects a whopping 52% of men between the ages of 40 and 70. This includes mild, moderate, and complete forms of ED. Now you might wonder what causes this dysfunction. Well, the reasons are multifold. Physical or organic causes for sexual dysfunction encompass vascular, hormonal, and neurologic factors. Vascular issues like atherosclerosis can be a culprit. If you're someone who smokes, has high blood pressure, diabetes, or high cholesterol, you're at a higher risk of developing erectile dysfunction. Even certain physical activities like bicycle riding, owing to the use of a narrow saddle, can obstruct and impair arteries to the penis, thus contributing to erectile dysfunction. While we often focus on these physical aspects, we mustn't overlook the role of endocrine factors. Testosterone, for instance, modulates desire, arousal, and orgasmic function. If testosterone levels dip, it can affect the efficacy of ED medications like sildenafil, commonly known as Viagra. Therefore, it's crucial for physicians to check the patient's testosterone level if the response to sildenafil is not improving the erection reliably. Other risk factors include neurologic problems like multiple sclerosis, stroke, depression, and certain medications used for treating diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and depression. Now let's talk about treatments. There are many oral therapies for erectile dysfunction, but the only approved medication in the US is the PDE5 enzyme inhibitor sildenafil, or Viagra. Other therapies approved in different parts of the world include Tadalafil, Vardenafil, Yohimbine, Phentolamine, Trazodone, Apomorphine, and nutraceuticals. The key here is to understand that these treatments work differently for different people. For instance, while sildenafil is effective for all sorts of erectile dysfunction in 69% of people, it might not work in some cases. This is where other medications like Vardenafil and Tadalafil come into play. To wrap up, it's important to understand that erectile dysfunction is a common problem among men, and it's not something to be ashamed of. Various factors contribute to it, both physical and hormonal. There are several treatments available, and it's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider to find the right one. Remember, understanding and treating erectile dysfunction can significantly improve one's quality of life.